Hi everyone, it's Lily or Cool Rice Bunnies and today I am doing my craft update number 14 and this craft update, I can call it now, is going to include resin charms, polymer clay charms, and some deco pieces that I did. So I'm really excited to show you guys even though they're not that great and I apologize right now for the quality of my polymer clay charms. They're not really very good or creative or anything so I'm really sorry but I hope you guys enjoy this video anyway. So first I'm going to start off with my resin charms. I have this yellow star piece and the back is white and I don't know. It has like candy pieces and such and this is just what it looks like. Then I have this piece and it's really random. Um, this is just kind of like an inside joke kind of with my friend Caleb. Um, we found this magazine clipping of this dog in our art room and we thought it was just the funniest thing ever so I told him like I'll put it in a resin piece and then he can use it as a keychain but it's basically just this really disgruntled looking dog with a heart and it's clear resin. I domed both sides so it's really shiny and I can't wait to give this to him because he's gonna think it's so funny. I have this heart piece and there's like glitter on the top um, but it's basically just sweets and I used candy sprinkles in it and I really like the way that it looks and then the back is this kind of cake batter color that I used um, Crafters Delights tutorial on so if you want to learn how to make a cake batter resin color I will link that video down below. I also made this little cupcake resin piece and it is green toned and has little hearts in the background and I think it's really cute. Both sides are domed so it's super shiny and I just really like the way that this turned out. Then I have this little Sanrio character and it's a little lamb or sheep and it's just um, a three-dimensional sticker and I put it with a green glitter background and the back is white but I haven't domed it yet and it just looks like this. I think it's really simple and pretty but there is this one um, air bubble right here but other than that I think it's really pretty and it's really shiny because I glazed the top with resin. Then for my last update, I showed you guys this unicorn piece and I just wanted to show you guys that I did dome the back so it is a salvaged fail piece, I guess you can call it, and I'm going to glue on a bale so it's going to be a complete piece. And it just looks like this for those of you who haven't seen it. Then I have another one of my painted resin charms. I really, really don't like the way this turned out. It's supposed to be Rilakkuma, but I just, I don't like the way he looks. Um... And he's painted with acrylic paints and I domed over the top of it with resin. The back is domed with white. There are a lot of stars in the background and then these little star detailings here. And I just, I'm not, this, I don't know, I don't really like that. Then I have this piece which I really, really like. It's um, this really cute bunny and these two candy pieces or cupcake, whatever. And then the outside is rimmed with candy sprinkles and then there are kind of hearts everywhere and cellophane and circle chunky glitter and then it the background is just um, the cake batter color which I used Crafters Delights tutorial again on so that video will be in the description box and I don't know I just really like the way that this turned out um, the top has been domed or glazed with resin so it's fairly shiny and I have to dome the back and there will be a finished piece but I really like the way that this one turned out then I made this little bottle cap charm with a white bottle cap and it has a little owl sticker and I have gradient glitter going from dark pink to white and it's like completely sealed in resin and I just love the way this looks. So I'm probably going to be doing more bottle cap resin pieces like that. Then um, I have these three resin pieces that I have yet to paint. So I just have two heart ones. One is white and the other one is blue. And then the square one, which is pink, and they all have white backs to them. So um, I just wanted to ask you guys, who should I paint? I think I'm going to do um, Sabo Kappa on this one, like a Mama Goma on one of these. I don't know. But if you guys have any suggestions for what characters or images I should paint onto these resin pieces, I would really like to know. Then the rest of the resin pieces that I made are just things that I did with extra resin. So I made this skull resin piece with um, all of the extra white resin that I had. And as you can see, there are a couple of like bubbles here, but I used the um, Fred 
bone chillers mold for that. Then I used a lot of my extra resin for just these random pieces that have candy sprinkles in it. So I have this heart piece and they all have silver um, backings with glitter. And then I have these two pieces that just look like this. I think they're pretty cute. I'm going to add like magnets or pins to the back of them. Then I have this all white glitter um, star piece. You really can't see it because of the sun, so I'm sorry, but it is just white and glittery. And then I have this glittery little screw drive turny thing. I don't know. I used the Fred Robot mold, so there's this one. And then last but not least, I used um, my extra resin to make this, and it just has like random stuff inside of it, some cellophane glitter, and I think it turned out really pretty actually for just like a random piece that I did with extra resin. So these are all of my resin pieces. So now I'm gonna show you guys my polymer clay charms, and again, I'm really sorry, the qualities are not as good as they usually are. The first two things I made were these little um, polymer clay peeps, and these were inspired by Clay Cupcakes 4, and she has a really great tutorial on these. So I made a yellow one and this mint colored one, and I think you'll see in this update that I am like obsessed with this mint color by Fimo, and you'll see it used a lot in this update, but I just really love that color. Then I made these adorable little ravioli charms inspired by Pudding Fish Cakes. Um, I just think they are probably the cutest things ever. She does have a tutorial on these, but I did not use the tutorial, um, but I'll still link it down below. I kind of just made them based off of an image I saw in her store, Envy. So so if you do want to learn how to make them, I will put the video link in the description box. And yeah, this is what the back looks like. And they each have a different face. And I painted them on with acrylic paints. So there are the three different little faces. And I just love these. I think they turned out so cute. Then I made this little snow cone ice treat thing, um, which was inspired by Kawaii Sweet World. She has a tutorial on this. And again, I will link it down below. And I just did the yellow one. I used translucent clay for the ice cubes because I don't have the little plastic ones that she used in her video. And the face is painted on. And I just think this is really adorable, and I love the way it turned out. Inspired by Kitten Sue, I did these little UFO alien charms, and I just think they are just, I don't know, I love the way that these look. They are very tiny. I worked very hard to make them small, and I think their faces came out pretty well, and they were made with clay. And I don't think you can really see it on camera, but they do have blush that's brushed on with chalk pastels. So these two were inspired by Kitten Sue, and I will link her um, tutorial in the description box along with all the other tutorials that I mentioned. Then I made a couple of these cupcakes. So I just have this one that has the mint colored base and it's a vanilla cupcake with chocolate icing. I have a regular vanilla cupcake with chocolate icing, and then I have a, another vanilla cupcake with mint icing. And I was just playing around again with the mint color, and I wanted to make some cupcakes, so those are very boring, and I apologize. The next thing that I used with the mint clay was this little cupcake that I used um, the Martha Stewart mold with, and I put a little face on it, and I love the way this turned out. I think it's really cute, and I'm definitely going to be making more of these. I made this star-shaped chocolate chip cookie. I have no idea why I made this. I just kind of had some leftover like tan clay, so I decided to make this. And it came out pretty cute. I just kind of, it was really random. <laughs> then I made this music note sugar cookie, and it just has the black icing that I did with TLS, and the back looks like this. I kind of failed putting in the headband because you can see it right there, but I think it's a pretty cute charm other than that. <laughs> Um, I had some leftover brown clay and I wanted to use it, so I made this sparkly poop charm. I, I don't know, I think it came out really, really cute. Um, I like the way that I painted on the face with acrylic paints, and I sprinkled it with some white glitter, so it's very, very sparkly, and I like the way it turned out a lot. I made an Orange Boy charm. I think Orange Boy is a really cute character from Stanex, and I think the face came out pretty good. Um, I'm usually not very good with making faces, so I'm really proud of this. And this is just what the back looks like. I think the glaze came out really well. He's very shiny and cute. And then there's the little leaf on his head. Then I made this golden muffin inspired by the game Muffin Nights. And I have this game on my iPhone. But um, yeah, it's just 
a golden muffin basically and I play this game a lot with my boyfriend so I just really wanted to make one and again the game is Muffin Nights so you should check it out in the app store because it's a really fun game. Then if you guys don't know I do theater a lot and my school recently performed the musical Phantom of the Opera and my one of my really close friends was the Phantom and he asked me to make him a little Phantom mask and it's going to be kind of hard to see the details in this lighting but this is just the Phantom's mask. I have some blush on the cheekbone and then there's like a sculpted nose and the kind of brow bone. The back just looks like this and I really really like the way that this turned out. I think it looks really great but it's really washed out right now because of the lighting. But yeah, this is for my friend because he was the Phantom and he did a great job and I hope he's watching this video because yes, um, I don't know, okay. And then last, I made this little bee for my friend Zoe and this is um, representing the college that she's going to be attending this fall and I'm not gonna say the name or anything but it's just a little letter and I usually make these kind of things for my friends a lot when they go to college so um, I just made this for her, kind of boring I know but I wanted to. <laughs> So those were all my polymer clay charms. Now I'm going to show you guys the kind of like deco pieces that I did. And these deco pieces were sent to me by Little Surprises YT and they were made out of air dry clay. And um, this weekend I got some silicone and I decided to start like doing some deco denning and stuff. So the um, clay pieces were made by Amy, but I just decorated them. So I can't take all the credit. So this first one is probably my favorite and it's just this purple tart base and I put on the silicone and some pink scribbles, some pearls, strawberries, and glitter. And I don't really know. I just love the way it turned out. I think it's really, really cute. And I'm not really sure how well you can see it in this lighting, but it's just really cute. And I love the way it turned out. Then I decorated this ice cream scoop. Um, it's kind of ugly in my opinion, but I will show you guys anyway. So again, there's glitter, pink scribbles, a strawberry cane slice on a whipped cream dollop, pearls again, and I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> There's this really boring tart that I decorated again with the pink scribbles, glitter, and a pearl on top. So I'm not really going to spend too much time talking about this. And then I made this one. Um, Amy, of course, did the heart tart base, but and then I just decorated with some silicone on top. Two lemon cane slices, pearls, and chocolate scribbles for a change. And I did turn it into a charm because I like the way this one turned out. And I think it's really cute. And then lastly, I just decorated this little waffle piece. And I really like this. I think it's really simple and cute. And yeah. Um, those were my very first deco pieces thingies. And I hope you guys enjoyed them. I'm sorry that this update wasn't too great. I feel really disappointed in myself. But, you know... I don't know, I wanted to get a video up for you guys. So I would also like to thank you guys so very much for helping me reach over 13,900 subscribers. I'm really close to getting 14,000 and that makes me so, so happy. You guys have no idea how like nice it is just to come home from a stressful day at school and then going on YouTube and then just seeing like all the support that I get from you guys and it means so much to me. Um, now that my schedule is cleared up, I'm trying to craft a lot more. Again, I apologize for the quality of these charms. They're not very good in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me, but hopefully I'll improve better in the next update. And thank you guys so much for supporting me like always. And yeah, thank you again. And um, this was my update. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you soon. Bye.